So my question is on hyper-Bitcoinization. Mm -hmm. Has it started already? What will, how will it start? What do you predict to be its like the last, you know, straw on the camel's back for hyper-Bitcoinization on a global level? And um, how do you see, how do you foresee uh, governments responding to it? Um, so, how many people here have heard of or understand the term hyper-Bitcoinization? Not enough. Great. So let me let me start by clarifying. Hyper-Bitcoinization is this idea of a tipping point at which um, the ability to sustain a fiat economy in the presence of a very vibrant cryptocurrency economy uh, is no longer there, and people abandon uh, traditional fiat in droves, and you have a mass conversion over to. Um, some form of cryptocurrency, usually Bitcoin. To me, that's a bit of a maximalist position, and quite honestly, I think it's more or less fiction. I do not believe we will have a moment when uh, Bitcoin will become the only, the dominant, the replacement for all fiat. I don't believe that ever happens. Um, in fact, if it was starting to happen, then we have full-on, outright, all-out currency war, and we do not want to engage in full-on, full-on uh, currency war with nation-states that have armed thugs. Uh, that is not a good way uh, to handle your personal safety. All of those people who are driving around Lambos with Bitcoin license plates. Um, <laughs> you'll be the first ones. Um, but then again, I don't think hyper-Bitcoinization honestly happens, certainly not on a global level. I think you might have tipping points where uh, certain countries that are suffering from um, irreversible currency crisis and collapse, that cannot establish um, pegs to traditional currencies like the dollar, for example, and cannot afford to launch uh, a new paper currency, because quite honestly, you know, the cost of printing uh, paper currencies is in the tens of millions of dollars, and very often the, the countries that are having these collapses at some point realize they can't actually afford to print the new currency, and that becomes a gating problem. We've seen that happen in Venezuela, in Zimbabwe, in Brazil, and a few other places where the cost of printing exceeded the resources the government had. Um, so it turns out that's the cure for inflation, right? Run out of money to print money. Um, <laughs> So um, I do think in some countries you will see, as a last resort, the uh, people of that country choosing to conduct a majority of their business in a cryptocurrency because it is the best, most portable, most accessible alternative out there. I think we will see that happen, but it will happen on a local basis. And um, I don't think it happens in a massive global tipping point, everybody fleeing for the exits moment. I hope it doesn't. That is an apocalyptic scenario that will disrupt the world economy so badly. We don't want that. Nobody should be hoping that the world economy collapses just so everybody can see the truth about Bitcoin. Um, that is cutting off your nose to spite your face. Right? Oh, great, we'll all have Bitcoin. Yes, also we'll all be uh, part of marauding bands of Mad Maxian... <laughs> personalities fighting for scraps of food in the wasteland. Um, but hey, we'll have Bitcoin. Awesome. See, I was right, you'll say, as you gun down the person who's trying to take the piece of bread out of your mouth. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's not do that. So I don't believe in hyper-Bitcoinization. Um, I would hope we see a much more Let's say an orderly transition to a multi-currency, pluralistic world where people have many, many choices that have increased their freedom without first hitting rock bottom. 